Hatchett reporting with Charlotte Basketball Network. I am here at Northside Christian Academy with head coach Evasto Hatchett. So Coach Hatchett, I have a few questions for you today. So looking back at previous years, your team has been way older than your team you have this year. So having such a young team, what do you think is the most challenging thing with having such young players this year? Um, I think the biggest challenge is, is just teaching and the process of, of teaching the kids. Um, you got a young group and you got to be able to kind of make adjustments with them. They, don't, they may not learn as quickly or know as much. Uh, so patience is, is our word this year. Um, just kind of being patient with the guys and knowing that the future is bright for us here. Got you. So since this team is so new, what do you look for the most to work on and improve with this team? So the, the biggest thing that we want to do every day is improve. Uh, that, 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 that's what we want to do is improve. Uh, you got such a young group, like you said, ninth graders and 10th graders. I don't want to put a whole bunch of uh, pressure on those guys, but the expectations for us is not going to change. Uh, but the process I know is probably going to be a little longer than anticipated mm -hmm. because of the youthfulness. But I find that the process is good and the journey's fun. Yeah. So speaking of improvement, what would you say is your main goal? Like how would you improve this team going on? So I think, it's, I think every coach's challenge is, is just cohesiveness, getting the guys to play together as a unit. Uh, that's always a challenge, whether they're young or whether they're old. Uh, each of my kids are, are good individually, uh, but we're so much better when we play together as a team. So, so that's what we're focusing on and making sure that we, uh, we call it rejoicing each other's success. Uh, so if one of my guys scored 30, the kid that scored two points should be happy. Right. Uh, because the next game, he may score 30, and we got to learn to rejoice in each other's success and be happy for one another. So that, that, that is what we're instilling here at Northside. And, um, it's a process for sure, but, but it's going to good. It's going good. So, so far, looking back on the season, it seems like Northside has had a lot of success. And that comes from seeing the players obviously put out a lot of hard work in mm -hmm. the games. So, as a coach, how do you bring that hard work out of these players? Holding them accountable. Uh, holding them accountable and, and not going away or dissipating away from, from your goal. Um, each day is a challenge. Uh, and we try to attack each day as a challenge. Um, each day is a new day for us to get better. Right. Uh, we step up those days and try to do whatever we can to make sure that we're putting ourselves in a good position to be successful out there on the floor. Good. So a new addition has come to the Northside team, Justine Felton. I know that's a big thing for this Northside team. What do you think he will bring to the team? Um, Justine is just a, he, he's, he's just a really good ball player. He understands the game. I think yeah. the biggest thing for us uh, with with his addition is his basketball IQ. Right. Uh, he understands the game, he knows the game, um, and, and he's a humble kid. And, mm -hmm. and a kid that are humble and work hard is, is definitely something that we want here in our program. So I'm excited about him. Uh, the guys are excited. Mm -hmm. But more importantly, the kid is excited to be here and play with these guys. So, so that makes it um, a little bit more rewarding, if you will, for, for, for the other guys that's here. Uh, there's no animosity. Mm -hmm. uh, there, there's no egos. We're just all here with the same goal, and that's to win the championship and try to be the best team that we possibly can. Makes sense. So my last question is a more of a personal question. So you've been coaching for a lot of years, but with this team, what would you say mm -hmm. is your favorite thing about coaching? Uh, my favorite thing about coaching? I think for, for, for me, it's always seeing the guys get it. And when I say get it, meaning like something that you've been really trying to instill in a guy for years or maybe a month, however long it may be. And to see that aha moment come, mm -hmm. um, it's refreshing as a coach. Um, it's one of the reasons why I do what I do, uh, to give back to the game and kind of see these guys grow and develop. Uh, that process is, is an awesome process because you have ups and downs throughout it. But at the end of the day, end of that journey, the kids love you, the parents love you, you love the kids, and, you, and you've gotten another family member. So it's always good, and, and I enjoy it. So, so I love my guys. Um, I wouldn't want to do anything else yeah. other than cut hair. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for taking your time out to have an interview with me. Good luck for the rest of the season. This was Aaliyah Hatchett with Charlotte Basketball Network.